All right, YouTube, let's get into this. Okay, this is, this is my shop. I went and bought some dry erase boards and all that stuff to try to, I'm going to put a lot of stuff together. I don't know if I can do it as I go or not. Okay, but this is this is just pretty much the gist of how I do it all. I'm going to just go through it and show you. Then I'll show you the, the whys and all that stuff. Okay. Well, see here, you got, you got my vice right here. And I, I hand file everything. I hand file these this many saws every single day so these the boys took the saws out of the box and put here and the saws that was here they put it in the box so we just we just rotate we just rotate we got about 30 saws that we rotate in and out of the box we keep 15 saws in the box all the time but we do but we, we we cut a lot a lot of wood we probably make a couple thousand cuts a day you know um and it's all hardwood sometimes we do a few pines here and there but it's all oak hickory you know, some maple, not much maple. I mean, I'm in Middle Tennessee. I'm on a plateau here in Crossville, Tennessee. So, Google us. You know, like step of faith tree services. Google us. But anyway, um, I'm gonna try to do a video. I was going. I got these dry erase boards. I'm gonna try to do it in here, but most likely I have to move from the shop to somewhere where it ain't so bright because you really can't see nothing because of the windows in my shop. But first thing I do is. Oh, oh. I'll grab my uh, saw. Let's just say this is a this is a 572. Um, and what I do is I'll flip the saw upside down, just like this, and I'll put it in my vise. And I'm gonna show you how to sharpen the saw. Put it upside down in the vise, just like that. And then whenever I'm sharpening it, you see how the teeth. The teeth are uh, away from me, just like so. It's same as leaning over the power head, except for this. You know, I don't have to lean over. I'm, I'm standing right here. I put my belly on it just like that. So it, it's the same way. If the if it, it's the same way as if you was leaning over the power head. I just don't have to lean over the power head. I'm just, I'm just, just file just like that. You know what I mean? I'm doing it's the same thing. If the power head was right here, as I lean it over, the, the teeth are angled the same way. They're, the teeth are angled back this way. You gotta understand, I don't, I can't, I mean, I'm trying to show you, but I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. You see what I'm seeing? It's just easier. Sorry about that, sorry about that, sorry about that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Boom. Okay. All right, first thing I do. Grab a wire brush and I'll go through and I'll get all the gunk off my chain because sometimes you know, especially it all get gunky and dirty, so I'll clean everything off, clean everything off that way. I can see what I'm doing. And sometimes the top of the teeth will be nasty, you can get all that. Get all the gunk off. Then I take a, a rag, just like this, and I'll fold it up like uh, just I'll fold it up where it has a, has an edge on it, and then I'll run it in the teeth to get all the, the all the excess oil off, just like that. I'll just go through and just go back, just go away from the away from the working corner on every one of them, and you just get all that extra oil off so you don't ruin your files as fast. So there's gonna be no wool and no good dirt and grime on my my chain. All you gotta do is just run it just through just like that. Okay. There's no wool, nothing, nothing on it. It's completely clean. Then what I do. This is just the process of sharpening a saw, what I do every day. And then I'll, then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get into another video to show you how to do what I'm doing and what and why I do it in detail. This is just an everyday sharpening video right here. So then I'll tighten the chain up. You want it pretty snug. This is not how I use it. I don't leave them this way. You want it pretty snug so the, the chain doesn't roll backwards. So throw that chain, that file away because it's, it's, I used it the other day. 
Okay. Get my box of files here. So now I'll go through and I'll look for the worst possible tooth. Because I'm one of those guys that like all my teeth the same length. So I'll find the worst possible tooth. I got a little bit there. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you. See, it's this tooth right here. Oh, you can see that. See that working corner is just yeah. You see the working corner on it? So I'm gonna take it back. So this is probably my worst tooth. It's not, it's, I mean, it's not super bad, but it's, I mean, this saw's not going to cut like that. Without working corner, that little blunt, it's not, you can, you can, it'll, it'll cut. Don't get me wrong, it'll cut, but it, it definitely ain't going to cut good. So what I'll do, I'll take and mark that too with a permanent marker. Then I'll, look, I make deliberate strokes. Every stroke I do has a purpose. Look, I don't do nothing without a purpose. I don't go through the motions. Every stroke. I'm either working it back or working it down if, if, deliberately. No, I'm not just, I'm not going, I'm not going to hit the back of my file coming back. I'll just, what I do, I just push it straight across, just deliberate strokes. Just like that, then I'll whack my file, get the shavings off of it. But I'm not hitting the, hitting the file on the way back or none of that. I'm just doing deliberate strokes and when I do I count them okay which I wouldn't even count that one I, I, I think it was like seven so what I'll do I'll just do eight strokes on each one and I'm looking at this the look I'm looking at whenever I'm doing my strokes I'm counting them but I'm also looking at how looking at this guideline from the guideline to the edge of the the uh, chisel to, I, I'm gonna see. I'm seeing. I, I'm keeping my teeth the same length from the guide, from the guideline to the edge, edge of the chisel. So, I mean, they don't have to be. They don't have to be identical, but they can't be like drastic. They're different in big hard wood. Soft wood. It may not make a difference. I'm doing if you notice every probably three strokes I'll I'll rotate the file I'll take I'll just twist my file every three or four strokes And again, I'm I'm getting about eight strokes on each one, but then I'm also if if I'm also looking at both teeth, the teeth in front and the back, trying to get them the same length also. So I might put an extra stroke here or there, just because I may not put be just because I'm trying to be deliberate with what I'm doing. I'm trying to make some really smooth strokes. I'm not really pushing on the file. I'm just I'm just running it through. After I get done, and I literally sharpen the NFL saw like this every day. I definitely need these. I can't sharpen without them. So. And every stroke is deliberate. I mean, I, every stroke has a has a specific purpose. And and then you ask, and you may be saying, you know, how do you know how deep you're going? Look, I I, I do I do it so much I can kind of feel it, and I'm looking at the top of my file where it starts to roll over, where the the file is round. 
where the file was round like like this, I try to keep it to where it just starts to come to the top of the round of the file. And then you'll see how my teeth look in a minute. So you can, I can kind of feel the pocket that it's in because I've done it so much. And I'm still visually looking at uh, my file and, and, my, and the length of my cutters because I want them the same. And everybody's saying they don't have to be the same. Well, I'm a guy I got on the bike, and I'm sitting here sharpening it. Why not make them the same? The whole purpose of doing it the same is is because it's predictable. If, if they're one short and one's long, you don't know what to fix to get it, you know, make it right. You know, but if you do everything the same, if you make all those teeth the same, make them the same length, if you uh, get your rakers the same, you can adjust, right? You can, if it's too aggressive, you can you can come back and, and shorten the teeth a little bit. And if it, it's not aggressive enough, that you can come back and you can put a stroke on the rakers, which I'll show you a lot about the, the tuning, tuning a, a, a chain with with the rakers. And I'll explain a whole lot to you in just a minute. Again, every stroke is deliberate. It has its purpose. I'm, I'm focused on that top plate, 100%. See, I can tell my file is kind of getting dull because I'm having to put pressure on it. And, and it's, look how sharp my chain is. See, they, they actually, they cut me. So, look, my dull, my dull file and your dull file is going to be different. My dull saw and your dull saw is going to be different. Look, I'm not ever going to work a saw. I'm never going to work it. It's going to do the work for me. It's like this file. I can feel it getting where it's not pulling. To me, to me, it's getting dull. There, and you look, you, you know there's not no... And that's just a half a chain. And to me, and you, you know, I, I cleaned it. I took a, 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 a wire brush, got all the gunk off of it, and, and I got all the oil off of it, too. So, and it's just it's just one of my pet peeves. And it, it's just me. I'm not a perfectionist, but it's it, it's a, I gotta, I gotta do it right. That's just how I am. So, that's one file. In this, it, I can probably finish it with this because there's only, I don't know, three or four teeth left. So what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and finish it, and push through with this one, instead of changing new files. So there's only about four teeth left. So, but I don't like putting, I don't like pushing on my file at all. So what I'll do is just make extra strokes and just make sure my teeth are the same length. You know what I mean? So now I'm still kind of counting strokes, but I'm really focusing on the length of my two cutters too. But just because my file's not cutting as good, and you don't want to put pressure, you don't want to put you don't want to put pressure on the file because what it does it leaves a rough finish, and that that rough finish is resistance, and and resistance resistance causes heat, and heat will dull your chain. So you want to have a nice smooth stroke on this file, no pressure. And if you had to put pressure, change the house. I mean, if if you're a professional like I do, because we make, look, I promise you, we make thousands of cuts a day. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not like I'm cutting timber. Look, if I was cutting timber, yeah, you know, you're you're making probably sixty cuts. You know, if you let's just say you're cutting a, one load of logs, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna buck it and make a limit and you know. And it's, it's not as big a deal as when you're doing what we're doing. Because we literally, we play, we make a thousand cuts every day easy. A thousand cuts. Okay. Now let's look at some of these cutters. Okay. Well, if you can see. Okay, you see these cutters? Where am I at? Right here. Way up here, way up here, right here. Okay. 
and then you'll you'll I'm, I'm gonna, I'll teach you a lot more about it. I'm I'm really going to teach you a lot. And what you look at, if you look at, see that cutter? You see how it's nice and it it I'm. You see how the chisel on it? There's no shadow right right there above my fingernail. If you go too deep, it'll be really thin, and I have a shadow right there, and it'll just roll over. You see how nice and wide that chisel is? I'm talking about the chisel is is wide all the way across. That tells me that. I got my I'm holding my file at the right angle this way because if you hold it th this way too steep your 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 top plate will go at an angle down you know what I'm talking about it'll it'll start out at the working corner the working corner I'm talking about the the, the you can see you can see what I'm talking about right here you see how the the chisel the chisel part which I'll get into it later but I'm just showing you how uniform it is see see that chisel What's well, nice, ain't it? See how perfect that chisel is? See how perfect that chisel is? And I'm not going, I'm not getting into the gullet hardly at all. You see that? See how uniform? See how perfect that, see how wide that chisel is? That's perfect, that's a perfect plane. See how smooth it is? I'm not putting no pressure on that. See how perfect? I mean they're so uniform, and that's 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 experience. So I mean that's experience. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing I'm doing.